Hey everybody, this is Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store. Gonna do another video with you about an item that you wanna make sure you don't overlook, that you could often find for free and could sell for good money, or sometimes you'll just find it for 25 cents, 50 cents, garage sales, estate sales, and that is printing ink cartridges. Uh, you wanna look for the ones that are made by the brand name company, HP, Canon are good examples. If they are repurposed ink cartridges or recycled ink cartridges, those are the ones that are not really gonna sell too well or for as much money. So you wanna try to focus on the brand name ones. These, for example, I found actually with a sticker on it that said free uh, in an office setting. And um, I just picked them up. And if you look up the completed sales on these, you'll see, for example, this uh, Cyan one uh, sells for uh, has, has sold recently for $26.99. That includes the shipping. And the shipping on these is cheap. Uh, they're very light. You put them in a, um, you know, in a little envelope and they go out first class easily. Even if you combine both of them together, they're not heavy at all. They're just a few ounces each. You could also look for uh, ink toners. Uh, those will also sell for good money, sometimes well over uh, $100, depending on what type of toner that it is. So don't pass them up. They're uh, pretty easy to find. Uh, again, you'll find them pretty commonly. Garage sales, estate sales, uh, office settings, sometimes giving them away for free or for very little money. Now, one of the things you wanna look for on these though is you wanna make sure that you check the expiration date. So for example, on this one, you could see the expiration date is June 2019. That's fine because right now we're in January of 2018, so we're well within our window and they'll, they'll have no problem selling these. The question sometimes arises as to whether or not you can sell the ink cartridges after the expiration date. Um, and the answer to that question is that you can, you just wanna make sure that you disclose it in your uh, eBay description. Um, now, the reason why you wanna disclose it is that sometimes when the ink does go past the expiration date, uh, it will work fine, but in other instances it won't and the ink will dry up or it will turn to like a sludgy material and it's not gonna work well and it increases the chances that the buyer is gonna initiate a return. So if you wanna really try to decrease the chance that's gonna happen, sell it within the expiration window or make sure that you disclose it uh, in, your, in your description. Another thing that you want to uh, keep in mind is just how far it is past the expiration. So if it's a few months, maybe a year, you should be okay, and I've sold a few past that time window, although it's gonna narrow the window a little bit in terms of how many uh, prospective buyers you're gonna have for it. It's easier to sell when it's within the expiration uh, uh, time frame. The other thing you wanna keep an eye on is whether or not the pack is sealed or not. Now, if this is opened, uh, the flap is open, maybe sometimes I'll have a piece of tape on it, can you still sell it? Absolutely, as long as the cartridge inside is still within its original uh, plastic wrapping. You, sh you really shouldn't have a problem. Again, a few people might be a little hesitant to buy it um, compared to people who would be more likely to buy it if, the, if it was perfectly sealed, um, but you still won't have a problem selling it. And normally, these are gonna sell within 24 hours um, or within um, a couple of days as long as you price it right. Often, what will happen with these is you'll put them up and you literally start getting offers or completed sales within sometimes even a few minutes I've had it happen. So, uh, and in terms of, you know, the money that it could uh, bring in, like I said, you know, these small ones could be 20, 25, $30 easily. And some of the uh, bigger packs, you know, are gonna obviously fetch more money. So, you know, and you might find that you have them laying around in your office or, you know, somewhere in your home, go get them, take them out, list them. You know, you, you, you should be able to get some good money on them, out of them. Um, in terms of exactly how you would ship them, um, you know, you have different types of options that you could use. What I like to do is I will just take them and I will wrap them in some bubble wrap like this. And then I will sandwich them between two pieces of cardboard and then just tape them up and put it in you know, a shipping envelope like this and just send them right off and they're nice and protected. Um, with the more expensive ink toners, you want to be really careful with those and make sure that you put them in a, in a, 
finish. Nice strong box because a lot of times these are actually purchased by companies that resell the ink themselves to, to their own customer base and they want to make sure that they get uh, an ink toner box that is not crushed in any way. So you want to make sure that you write do not crush on the outside of that type of box if you're selling it uh, or shipping it through the uh, post ser postal uh, service. So um, again, that's just a quick little tip on uh, something you could find easily, make some good money on, quick, easy flip. If you like this video, please make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure that you subscribe and check out the Primetime Treasure eBay channel. The link is in the descriptions, uh, the description section. Write a comment down below if you like this and come back, see some more videos uh, that I'll be making and check out some of the other videos that are there. Thank you very much. Have a good day.